Post skip. <laughs> what? Nine. Hi, I'm Tyler False. I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry. From engineering to operations to emergency response. I don't claim to know everything there is nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. Today we're going to be looking at another one of the hilarious Salmonella Academy's videos called Historical Misconceptions for You to Bring Up During Family Dinner. And just for fun, I'm going to throw in some nuclear misconceptions. Let's take a look. Hey kid. Yeah, you. I just got off the phone with the big man upstairs. And he told me that I need to clear a few things up. Wikipedia. So without further ado, here's 10 pieces of malarkey that you might still be spreading. Number one, nobody was ever burned to death at the Salem witch trials. Of the Interesting. Accused, 15 died in prison, 19 were hanged, and one was squished to death. That last one is way more interesting than any cremation, by the way. Dude was a badass. His name was Giles Corey. He was 81 years old and so done with the town of Salem's garbage that he wouldn't even dignify the trial with a plea. So the town stuck him between two boards and stuck wow. on top of him in an effort to draw out a confession. But every time they tried to get something out of him, all he would say was, more weight. This went on for three solid days until he finally wow. died. Never giving what a way to go out. As to whether or not he was a witch, one can only wonder. Number two. All right, the first nuclear misconception I wanted to talk about were these cooling towers right here spitting out radioactive material. Now, it's just water vapor. They're in the steam cycle of the nuclear power plant, which is the same steam cycle that exists in natural gas and coal plants and has been around for the past couple of hundred years. The OG Buddha wasn't the obese guy. That's <laughs> Budai, a Chinese oh, cult character okay. meant to represent Maitreya, aka Future Buddha. Now this shirt. I is didn't know that sad. one. Number three. Another misconception is you get a lot of dose from living near a nuclear power plant. That's not the case. We're talking 0.005 percent of background radiation. You get a hundred times more dose from a coal power plant, and over 200 times that amount from flying from New York to Los Angeles. Buddha wasn't a god either. He was just a guy named Gautama. Now this shirt is triple sad. <laughs> Number four. Here's another one. Critical does not mean the reactor is about to explode. Critical means the reactor is on and at a stable power level. It's funny how it's the exact opposite of what that misconception says. Ever heard of a vomitorium? Turns out, no. It's I have actually. Noble I'm studying ancient Rome. For more pheasant spleen and lobster eyelids. It's just a big entranceway to the Colosseum yep. that hordes of <laughs> spew out of. Number five. Here's <laughs> another misconception. A nuclear power plant can explode like a nuclear bomb. No. Even Chernobyl. Chernobyl, they went prompt critical, so it's... Almost like they tried to make it a, a nuclear bomb, but nope, the reactor just tore itself apart and shut itself down as a result of that crazy test. They just don't have the enrichment nor the placement to create conditions that could create a nuclear bomb. Washington never cut down a cherry tree in his youth. I don't get this one at all. Apparently it's supposed to paint the- Yeah, I remember this story. Somehow. It's like, Tyler, what the hell happened while we were- He's going? talking to me. Where's the tree in the front yard? Oh yeah, that was me. Got bored. <laughs> Just felt like vandalizing something, you know? Hey, what about my honest character? Number six. Here's another one. Nuclear power is unsafe. No member of the public within the United States has died as a result of nuclear power. And this is a time period that spanned over 50 years. So your office building is less safe than nuclear power. The pyramids weren't actually built by slaves. These workers were- I knew this one, society. yeah. They ate meat. Skilled laborers. Three month shifts, and even got to be buried right next to the tomb after their death. Matter of fact, that's more than we can save for the people working on man's greatest achievements today. If I spent years of my life helping to build the space station, you're damn right I'd want the Salmonella <laughs> Memorial Corpse receptacle floating along. That's awesome. It. That would be amazing. Number seven. Another misconception is Chernobyl can happen again. No. That reactor type is rare. It only exists in former Soviet Union countries, and no new reactor of that type is currently being built. And even the ones that exist now, they made modifications. They made modifications such as removing the graphite control rod tips that was a contributing cause of the accident, 
and several other modifications to uh, prevent that sort of thing from happening, even in those sort of reactor types. If you want more information, I highly recommend you check out my reaction video series to HBO's Chernobyl. Great Wall of China is not the only man-made object visible from space. I don't know where you dipshits got this one from. First of all, there's no way you could see it with the unaided eye. The wall is like 30 meters thick at most, while yeah. the distance to outer space is generally recognized to be 100 kilometers up, known as the Karman Line. To give some perspective, that's like me holding up a standard-sized guitar pick from across the entire length of a football field and asking you what color it is. Also, there are plenty of man-made objects that are way bigger in terms of local surface area than the Great yep. Wall. So even if it was visible, there's no way it would be the only one. Number yeah, when I think of structures visible from space, how about just our infrastructure? All the lights that you see when you just look down on the Earth from the space station. Here's another misconception. Uranium and nuclear fuel is this weird green glowy stuff that you would see on an episode of The Simpsons. So this is what uranium metal looks like. This is what nuclear fuel looks like. More boring, sure, but not that green glow. Hey, you might have heard this one before. You know, Hitler was a jerk and all, but hey, he made the Autobahn, so at least he was efficient. <laughs> Hitler didn't create the Autobahn. <laughs> He just helped expand it into newer territory. In a similar vein, Mussolini didn't make the trains run on time. With most of Italy's infrastructure repairs happening before his rise to power in 1922, and even then they weren't nearly as punctual as he'd like you to believe. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to find something else to like about these fascists. Wasn't it the uh, that under Mussolini the trains were actually less efficient than they were previously? I'm not sure about that, but the inefficiency in these fascist governments is astounding. Another reason to not like these. Hitler's elegant way of speaking. Or the way Mussolini says spaghetti. <laughs> what? Here's another misconception about there being no plan for dealing with nuclear waste. So 96% of it is recyclable. And we're talking stuff like contaminated gloves and protective clothing that you wear in the high level stuff are things that you see here in these dry cast containers these things are super durable can withstand severe weather and even direct missile strikes they're perfectly safe just sitting on a pad outside. Nine, Iron Maidens weren't actual torture devices used in medieval times. Basically what happened is some archaeologists in the 1800s saw an old metal coffin and some spikes and said, yo, wouldn't it be wild <laughs> if we put these things up in here so that way if someone goes in it, they get poked in their bits? You are a wow. man, Cornelius. I didn't know it was this late, like, much later. Into the museum it goes. At least Iron Maiden was real. <laughs> they were as real as it gets. Still are. Don't you forget it. Number 10. Here's another misconception that wind and solar can replace nuclear. No, those two generation sources are too susceptible to things like the sun shining or the wind blowing. I'm not anti-wind or anti-solar. They do have a purpose within our energy mix, but they can't do the base load that nuclear does. Einstein never failed math. He had mastered both integral and differential. I remember being taught this, and it didn't make any sense. And this one was just made up to make glue eaters feel better. Maybe. Than themselves. Well, congratulations, Dimitri. Looks like you failed pre-algebra for the third time. Brady still can't graduate. Well, hey, that means I'm still on par with famous smart science man. So, uh, yeah, worship me. <laughs> So it just goes to show that wow. we've got a lot to learn about the world around us. Those were a good list of misconceptions. Um, I didn't know that one about the Iron Maiden or the two the two Buddha related ones. So really appreciate Sam Onello's stuff. Just learning things presented in a silly way. Um, I just love it. Let me know down in the comments if you have any other uh, nuclear misconceptions, both ones that you know are misconceptions or things that you believe are misconceptions and would like me to clarify. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.